I'm Mike from St. Thomas Economic Development here with another little update today from Gorman Rupp. Gorman Rupp Canada is a wholly owned subsidiary of Gorman Rupp Company, headquartered in Mansfield, Ohio. Gorman Rupp Company is a publicly traded company with 10 divisions throughout the U.S. and internationally. At the end of 2023, Gorman Rupp employed over 1,400 people with annual net sales of just under $660 million. Gorman Rupp Canada is part of a much larger organization than most in our community realize. Let's go check it out. This week, we're here at Gorman Rupp Pumps in St. Thomas, and I'm joined by Mike Broadhead. Um, Mike, tell us about your role at Gorman Rupp, and tell us a bit about the company Gorman Rupp. Great. Uh, thanks, Mike. Uh, Michael Broadhead, Managing Director for Gorman Rupp, so I'm responsible for our Canadian operation. Uh, so we have a manufacturing facility here in St. Thomas, and the unique thing about uh, Gorman Rupp Canada is everything that's built here in St. Thomas is for the Canadian market. So we like to say, built for Canadians, uh, by Canadians, for Canadians. Right on. And how long has Gorman Rupp been in St. Thomas? Well, arguably, we're one of the longest standing manufacturers in St. Thomas. We've been here since 1960. So this is our 64th year in operation here in St. Thomas. So it's just a fantastic community to operate and live in. That's great. And that's a very long legacy in the community of St. Thomas. Um, and with the changes going on in the Yarmouth Yards Industrial Park, I understand that some Gorman Rupp pumps are going to be going in a pumping station there. Tell me a bit about these pumps. Uh, yes. Uh, so again, we were um, very pleased uh, to uh, be able to help St. Thomas uh, overcome a challenge that they had. So they had uh, uh, wanted to deliver water at a very high pressure to the uh, to the industrial uh, site uh, at uh, 87 psi, is my understanding. And uh, we are going to use uh, some uh, horizontal split case pumps in this case, uh, driven by 400 horsepower electric motors, uh, also driven by 400 horsepower VFD, which allows them to run at variable speeds. So uh, again, uh, these pumps can deliver up to 5,000 gallons per minute. So there's a set of four of them. So again, if all four were running, that would be up to 20,000 gallons per minute at that very high pressure. That sounds like a lot of water. There must be a lot of thirsty employees on this in this Yarmouth Yards development. Well, my understanding is certainly uh, the battery plant is is the anchor uh, anchor industrial uh, partner that's going in there, but they never know what else is coming to that industrial site. So they want to be prepared for the future. Is my understanding. So these are very big pumps uh, by the sounds of it. Um, but Gorman Rupp makes pumps of all shapes and sizes. Um, how many pumps do you guys make? Uh, well, that's uh, we have a very diverse uh, diverse capability, so we can build up to three thousand different variations of pumps right within uh, right within Gormer Up Canada. So right from a one inch pump right up to a, a twelve inch pump, and uh, and one of their our that is our rental fleet is actually a sixteen inch uh, pump that can do up to fifteen thousand gallon per minute. That's interesting. Um, I've heard as well that pumps are one of the most common uh, manufactured goods. Uh, is that true? What, what stats is this that I'm reaching for? It is. Uh, pumps are actually the second most uh, consumed industrial product behind uh, electric motors being uh, the number one. That's interesting. Now, we're in um, in the Canadian headquarters for Gorman Rupp, and this is also where you do a lot of your training. Um, and I see a very interesting sort of cut open pump over there. What do you say we roll it in? You can kind of explain to us how a pump works. Sure. Okay, so we've rolled over this cutaway pump. Is that what you call these? Um, and Mike, I was hoping you could walk us through the journey that water takes uh, coming in and then through and then out of this pump. Certainly. Um, so yeah, th uh, this is a sales demonstration cutaway pump. Uh, so it really allows people to see the internals of the pump and how it works. So uh, basically, as I turn the shaft, which would be uh, driven by an engine or a motor, uh, it turns the, the impeller at a high rate of speed. Energizing the water within the casing is how that works. So it comes up uh, the suction pipe, so it enters the pump here. Uh, energizes the water. So as, as that energy is created within the casing, it creates a high pressure zone and a low pressure zone within at the eye of the impeller. So atmospheric pressure pushes that water up the suction pipe. So uh, as we like to say, pumps don't suck. It actually is atmospheric pressure pushing that water up the suction pipe, energizes the water, and then expels it out the discharge is really how pumps work in a very simple explanation. Okay, good to know. Pumps don't suck. That's what I would expect to hear from you. Um, what about this red colored area? What's that inside the pump? Uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's an oil seal chamber. So again, it's just an oil bath. Uh, that there's a bearing uh, bearing oil and also uh, a seal. The seal is uh, in an oil bath as well. Interesting. So you're using seal oil. Do you ever use whale oil? 
Uh, that's very funny, Mike. Uh, we just use uh, a standard oil. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Nothing nefarious. Um, um, great. That's very interesting. Um, now, obviously, if you turn this on, this would make a, a big mess in here. But um, a pump like this, um, what size is this pump? And how does this compare to the pumps that are on uh, the that are going to be going into Yarmouth Yards? Yeah, all, all pumps are sort of measured by their discharge outlet. Uh, so this is a three inch pump, what we classify this as a a V series, so a V3, uh, this pump is, and the pumps going into the Yarmouth Yard site are actually 12 inch uh, discharge. So again, about uh, about four times the size of uh, of this pump here, and a different style of pump as well. Yeah, yeah, wow. So four times the diameter. I don't remember everything in math class, but that's like 16 times the actual like surface area of water that would be flowing through that pump. That's a a little bit bigger, eh? <laughs> uh, it can certainly move uh, move a large amount of water. Great. So listen, once these pumps are, are ready, we want to check them out as they're like going into place in Yarmouth Yards. I think we can work that out. Absolutely. We have a delivery commitment uh, by the end of the year. So uh, all, all things uh, on track, we should be, uh, should be ready to fire those pumps up early, early in the new year. Okay. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time today and walking us through this and uh, telling us a bit about Gorman Rupp. Uh, like and subscribe on YouTube and stay tuned for another little update coming soon. Ah!